what developers hate in handoff process. Communicate with the developer and get them involved. Because I actually uh, struggle with this piece. Hello guys, and today I want to discuss one of the biggest issues between development and design, which is design's handoff process. And for this conversation, I'm bringing on my friend who is a developer. His name is Domenico, and he's going to give us some advice on the subject. Let's start. What developers hate in handoff process? Um, so what developers hate is a process that is incomplete. And what you mean is when the designer gives material that is not complete so we don't know which font to use which color to use like maybe there there are not all this if you are building like a mobile app maybe all the screen of the app are not there and maybe the developer are quite fast to implement them and then they feel that it's like there is a gap the design is not really keeping up pace with them on speed what is the process that is best personal for you in this case uh, the the personal process, like the first things for developer is that they are like involved on the process with the designer. So they need to understand why the design was made in a certain way. And the designer need to understand the technical difficulties, understand the technology that they use from the developer. So it's like, is the app built with React Native, with Flutter, is like, is Native with Swift? or Kotlin, you understand? In this way, you have this kind of like discussion where everything is set up before you start developing. So you know the technology, you know the fonts, you have all the design system, you, you know the screen. And of course you can always go like back and forth with design and coding, but you you put a process. And like one thing that is like is very useful for me Honestly, is using like product like Invision that has like a plugin with Sketch, right. because from from Invision there is like a, a feature that I can inspect the CSS, so I can clearly like code the design that the designer gave me, and he was coding like in Sketch maybe. Right, is in is actually the inspection thing in Invision uh, okay for you? In terms of grabbing the uh, code snippets like assets and everything, is that enough? I think for me is enough because like you have like if you are doing the app in Swift native iOS, uh, you have like the snippets of code for getting mostly like it's getting like the right tone of the color if mm -hmm. a RGBA, and I or if there is some shadow shadow in a button. So it's like you get all this kind of information, and you can also have in like in different units like in pixel or in points. You can have it like snippets for CSS. So if you are doing like in JavaScript and React Native, CSS is just perfect. So for me it's enough, but then it's like there has to be a conversation between the designer and the developer. Right, okay, so do you have advice to designers on how to improve this process and how to make it better? Yes, so as I say, like uh, the first most important part is communicate with the developer and get them involved. Because most of the time they work on silo. Okay, this is the design. I do the UI, I do the UX, whatever cool the designer are doing in their time. But they don't involve the developers. They don't understand what is going to happen after. And I think this is wrong because like you need to know if it's like, could they uh, replicate the animation that I'm doing with this cool tool? Like, I don't know if Figma, Principle, whatever tool you're doing which kind of a technology that they're using. Are they skilled in doing this kind of animation or there is kind of framework that they can use to take like some animation from After Effects and put it like in React Native. Actually there is, but you need to know all these kind of things. And if you don't know, you maybe start to design so much in advance, so much cool stuff that then they are not being coded and yeah, probably a designer get a bit frustrated. <laughs> I actually uh, struggle with this piece and this is why I'm asking all these questions. Um, I would like to know, like you mentioned that there are some limitations and we need to know uh, different technology and stuff like Where can I personally go and learn about all those limitations, read or watch something like any advice? <laughs> 
Look, uh, I, the best advice I can give you is to talk to developer based on the technology that they're using because different platforms can have like different limitations. So it's like, I'm not expert in Android and I don't know how animation are done in Android. But if we are doing an app in React Native, I can tell you for sure that you can take animation done in After Effect, export mm -hmm. it from After Effect, After Effect is right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then import it like in an app in React Native, iOS, and Android. So it depends from the process. Uh, there is not really much limitation you can do today. Like you can do like so much, but it depends from the developer skills, how skilled they are, and the kind of platform that they want to use. So it's like you decide the, the tools and the process and everything will be like so smooth. If you start to do things in After Effects uh, or in a tool that cannot export on JSON or in JavaScript or in Swift, then they have to replicate them in code and maybe it will take like weeks, months to do one animation because maybe they are not skilled and they don't know how to do this kind of nice like uh, Helen walking in the screen and says like, hey, nice, hello in my new app. <laughs> and it's like, how I do this? It's like if you know that your client is doing the app in Swift and uh, Kotlin for iOS and Android, you talk to them and you ask like, okay, did you do animation in the past? How do you like colors being delivered to you? How do you like fonts to be delivered to you? Because maybe they have their own system to take whatever you give to them and bundle it with the app or a site. We are talking app just because like mobile app is quite, there is like much more diversity there. I understand. I think you covered the questions and thank you very much for doing this. <laughs> I'm so pleased to talk to you and it was like so much fun to answer you this question.